here we have two different general mathematics papers that were written in 2023 was C called mathematics paper 2 two different papers written in 2023 let's analyze them to see questions that's repeated or questions that were nearly the same so if you scroll down you can see that some of the questions that nearly repeated if you look at question number 13 for this and question number 8 for this see that they are almost the same in fact they are the same they are the same you remember how we solve them it takes a few moments to check their solution and after that we'll do some small analysis we have to copy and compare the table of values for y or 2x squared minus x minus 4 4 negative 3 2 3 so let me copy and copy the table we get something like this i know you can show working for this remember to show working before you get this then using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis, draw the graph of y equal to x squared minus x minus 4, 4, negative 3 is less than x, so less than 3. So 2 cm to 2 to 1 unit on the x axis is this, and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis is this. Mm. So we have to draw the graph. So we plot the point. To plot negative 3, 17, you can start from the origin. Then you move negative 3 units. Then you move up now to 17, which is here. So that is how you plot the point. So the point 17 is here. That is negative 3, 17. Now you, you repeat the same process to plot all the points. Negative 2, 6. Negative 1, negative 1. 0, negative 4. 1, negative 3. 2, 2. And then finally, 3, 11. Then you draw a smooth curve through it. Now, we have to use the graph to find the roots of the equation 2x squared minus x minus. So where the graph cuts the x as is this point and this point, which is negative 1.2 and 1.7. Then the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases. So y is decreasing and in decreasing on this range of values this range of values to this point so the, uh, the inequality there is uh, negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to, is less than 0 0.3 because at this particular point it is neither increasing nor decreasing so the minimum points the minimum point is here so that is 0 0.3 comma negative 4.1 it's copy and complete the table of values for y equal 2x squared minus x minus 4 for negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3 so we just have to input the values so you put negative 2 you put it in the expression here y is equal to 2 into bracket negative 2 squared minus x eh, minus negative 2 then minus 4 so let's go this will give you 2 times 4 2 times 4 plus 2 minus 4 that will give you 8 minus 2 which is what 6 so you put a 6 here you repeat the same process for negative 1 you get negative 1 then for 1 you get negative 3 but don't work all if you work the 6 and the negative 1 it's okay then the rest just fill it 
with your calculator. So this is the complete table. Now, using a scale of two centimeters to one unit on the X axis and two centimeters to two units on the Y axis, draw the graph of Y equal to X squared minus X minus four for negative three is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to three. So you need to take your graph sheet now, please. Take your graph sheet paper. Take your graph sheet and pen, eh, paper, mathematical set, long ruler, and also calculator. Then you go to your graph sheet and draw these two axes, the X and the Y axis. Label it. So this is the X axis. Please try and label it. And this is the Y axis. Y axis. If you level it, you get some marks. Now let's use the scales. So the scale is two centimeters to two to one unit on the x axis. So let's begin. So we begin from negative three, negative two, because each step is one unit. Then zero. Then we have one, two, three. Then also on the y axis we start from negative four. Because that is the least negative value here. So negative four, we go to negative two because two centimeters is two units. We go to zero, we go to two, we go to four, six, eight, so steps of two. And so we get the last one, which is 18. That is okay because the highest number here is 17. Good, so the next thing we are going to do now is going to plot the point. So we plot the first point here, negative three and 17 is here. Then we have negative two and six is here, is here. Then negative one and negative one, you got it here. Then we have negative four and we have zero and negative four. Then we have um, one and negative three. We have it here. Is here. Uh -huh. See that the blue dot. Then we have two and two. You see the two and two. Then we have three and uh, eleven. Good. So we finish plotting the points. You're going to draw a smooth curve. So let's begin drawing a smooth curve through it. Good. So that is the graph y equal to x squared minus x minus 4. Well done for that. Now, after I finish drawing the graph, you're supposed to use it to answer some questions. So here's the question. So this is x and this is y. Good. So the question says use the graph to find the roots of the equation 2x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. So that is where the graph touch the x axis. So if you read that, you get x equal negative 1.2 or 1.7 from the graph. Because, because two centimeters is one unit. So each box is 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Good, on the x axis. Now we come to the i iPad values of x for which y increases as x increases so uh, y is increasing on this region and x is also increasing on that region up to this point so from the least point from that least point to to the least point of x is the axis of symmetry there which is 0 0.25 accurately but reading from the graph, we have 0 0.2. So it is 0 0.2 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. On that interval, the graph is increasing as x is also increasing. Then we have, so that is, we're supposed to find a minimum point of the graph. So accurately, it is 0 0.25 and negative 4.1, something, something, something. Um, but because it's the graph, 
uh, we have 0 0.2 as you can see to 0 0.2 and negative 4.1 so that's it for this question um, so let's analyze the solution now you see the graphs are the same this and this and the minimum point you realize one of them we had um, 0 0.2 comma negative 4.1 another one we had 0 0.3 comma negative 4.1 meanwhile they are the same graph so and will you get it correct yes you get them correct the reason is that they correct the exact value for the x supposed to be 0 0.25 but you know, we we you'll be given this margin of error plus 0 0.01 and minus 0 0.01. So if you get plus 0 0.01, 0 0.01, you get 0 0.26. And this to the near to one decimal place is 0 0.3. Now you can also get 0 0.25 minus 0 0.01 margin of error it will be applied because you are doing graph work so this will give you 0 0.24 and because you are doing graph you are reading them according to the scale so you could get you can get 0 0.2 for this if you run it to one decimal place you get 0 0.2 which is equivalent to what the graph is giving you so don't worry when you work the graph if you read it carefully, whatever you have, you have got, just indicate it. You will get it correct.